Hello, I'm JW. Today we're going to have a look at another type of fire sealant and I've got a piece of it here. Now this actually came out of an installation so it's been in there for well over a year and it's had plenty of time to fully set, solidify and do whatever else it does. And it's actually this one which uh, comes in this uh, cartridge here and uh, so when it's like that's just sort of a white paste material and it's used to put around things like cables and pipes and whatever where you've drilled a hole say through a fire barrier such as a wall or ceiling or something and it's one of these where it's designed to not have uh, flames going through it such as a concrete wall in a block of flats or something so uh, again it's supposed to expand and uh, char basically rather than uh, just melt and burn through so take a piece of this outside and then we'll uh, heat it up with a gas torch and we shall see uh, what happens to it So that's what happens with uh, this stuff, uh, certainly much uh, better performance than that horrible foam we had a look at uh, a few weeks ago. This uh, does actually resist the fire for a uh, decent amount of time there, and uh, although it did sort of continue burning on the surface there, the point is that if that had been in a wall or something the fire wouldn't have actually gone through the material. That was just something on the surface just sort of burning off there, and as we saw there it sort of uh, poked out and it eventually broke into uh, smaller pieces or which uh, didn't particularly burn very well either. So uh, certainly a much uh, better choice there. I'm quite glad about that because I've actually been using this stuff for several years to uh, seal up holes in that sort of situation. So fairly good idea that it actually does uh, what it's supposed to do. 
So uh, that's certainly better than the foam variety. And uh, on the back of this, it has actually got a load of information about the various uh, things it can be used for as well, rather than some of that foam, which, uh, as we saw previously, unfortunately just uh, basically set on fire, shrank away, and uh, had that been in a joint, for example, between a wall and a ceiling or something, it could have easily just shrunk away, fell out, and allowed the flames to go through fairly quickly. But uh, anyhow, that is it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.